Alright, how's it going guys? Welcome to The Sims 4 News. Today is Wednesday, May 14th, 2014, and today I am here with a Sims 4, um, create a sim demo, sorry, I forgot there, and uh, I'm gonna go through it, and yeah, it's gonna be super duper fun. So, why don't we just go ahead and jump right in, and I'll start playing the clip. Yeah, please excuse the overlay, it's the best I could do, I'm sorry. So we literally right away see the uh, new new animation, so so that's cool. Um, you will hear the background noise, uh, of course. Um, it's just it's it's recording the system audio, and that's just gonna kind of quiet because I wanted to keep it quiet so you could hear me over it. So this is the brand new animation right here, and it's pretty awesome. So let's continue on. So we just saw quite a few Sims there, and they all looked pretty cool. I will admit that. And we all, all we also whoa, we also see the uh, some little controls with Create a Sim right there. And we're probably, I'm pretty sure we're about to jump right into Create a Sim as well. Yeah, there we are. We're right in it now. So he's saying it's much more powerful, and this is meaning I'm assuming that it's pretty innovative for. What it is? It's uh, it's it's new. It like I mean, everything that has been like the creative sim has been innovative in every game up to this point. So it would only make sense to have this be an innovative creative sim as well. Which, from what I can see so far, it is. Um, and uh, we might as well continue on so I can so I can prove to you that I'm not lying. Big surprise. So you might have noticed there that there wasn't very many, very many skin colors there. Let me just go see if I can find it. I think it's somewhere about there. Right there. How many skin colors is that? Not very many. Let's count them out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's 20 skin colors that you can choose from in The Sims 4. That's a problem. That's the first problem I see so far. But you can choose different nationalities based on pretty sure what it is. Uh, you can just choose between nationalities, and that's that is a good feature. But I mean, you should be able to have a slider. So I guess it's just trying to demonstrate that you can uh, modify little tiny pieces of each each body part. So you can modify the thighs, you can modify the stomach area, add I guess you could call it, and you can modify other pieces as well as you're about to see. Yep, that's one. That's two. You're saying that, but it was really innovative for then, and this is really innovative for now, so... It's just showing how much technology has changed, I guess. You can choose body shapes, too. That's pretty cool. But same thing, skin color. Yeah. Yeah, I pointed that out because I thought that's what it looked like before, and it is. So. I don't remember him looking like that exactly, but okay. So yeah, it's just explaining what that that little glow means, I guess. Cool. Oh, that's a great feature, actually. Same thing with that. If that's a feature you can add to each individual sim, I would be perfectly fine with that. That's pretty cool, actually. I like that a lot. That's pretty awesome. I'm going to give him credits for that, because that's pretty good. Nice hairstyles. Wow. Okay, that's looking pretty cool with the outfits, too. They look pretty fashionable for a sims game. So pretty much I was just confirming that, yeah, there is tattoos in the base game, but I'm pretty sure we already knew that, so it's not much news. I, I already said that in one of the Sims 4 News episodes, and you probably already know, about that, know that by now, sorry. So it's not much of a surprise. It's like outfits. That's pretty cool. 
So we're just kind of going through more sims now. Uh, I'm going to point out one thing that I did not see so far, and that's create a style, and that's a big thing for me. Um, I'm really hoping it's there. I'm kind of kind of worried now. We haven't seen it yet. That's kind of worrying me. I'm going to point that, just pointing that out now. I'm sorry, but that that's just what I noticed. It's pretty pretty evident that it's missing. Meh. It's kind of similar, I guess. With this level of detail, it's primarily possible in the Sims 4. Make it rain. Take a look at some of the other folks from around the studios. I'm not sure if these have all been revealed as avatars, but I think I've seen most of these. Uh, that's a Definitely seen that one. Whoa, lag, like, okay. That one too. So you can choose everything essentially. Look at that strut. Huh. Check out his swag. I choose their voices. That's a pretty deep voice. That's a pretty robotic voice. Mortimer is a genius. He's creative and a bit of a bookworm. I'm going to give Mortimer an aspiration. I want him to be a renaissance hero, making a quick buck on plenty. Okay, that's a pretty big sign that there is going to be three traits you can choose, plus you choose a lifetime wish and that gives you a fourth trait. That's, I think it's pretty cool actually. That's pretty awesome in my opinion. Hmm. So lifetime wishes, I don't know, I didn't really feel like they were more as important in The Sims 3, but this is kind of making it extremely important because you want to choose one that will give you a good trait, I guess. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm just kind of wondering if there will be ones like you can choose a lifetime wish and it'll give you a negative trait. I wonder about that. I'm assuming there probably will be, but that's that's pretty interesting. And that's definitely not one we've seen. I don't think we've seen that one at least. Um, I don't remember that being a lifetime wish in Sims 3. Oh, that's cool too. So yeah, it just demonstrates that there is four traits essentially, but you only get to choose three. Plus choose lifetime wish. And I don't think that's, I think that's a new lifetime wish as well. And it gave her the gregarious trait, I believe it was. And, um, yeah. So you want to choose ones that are probably beneficial to your game. She'll be able to build friendships naturally. With the power of Creator Sim, I've designed exactly the Sims I want to play. That's pretty cool, they actually. They're unique, and they have real personalities. I'm going to move my Sim in with a bunch of friends from the studio and build them a house. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Was that what I think I just saw? I think it was about there. We just got to see a little sample of build mode right there. That is awesome. Holy crap, look at that. The bottom left corner. It's like, you remember how we used to choose from little areas of like the kitchen, for example? You'd choose rooms. I'm pretty sure that's the same thing, but I see a search bar, number one. And um, number two, the room is 3D, so it's a lot easier to click on things. Number three is the top right corner. You can see all those little different camera controls. It's so much simpler. Not camera controls necessarily, but controls in general, I guess. And that looks really cool, actually. I'm, yeah, it's pretty awesome. And you can see, yeah, there's camera controls in the top center. And there's four base options with the mouse, the clicking thing, the uh, color picker, the just picker, I guess, essentially, the sledgehammer, and create a style. Oh, yeah, it's there. Okay, sorry. I just noticed that. That is create a style. That's awesome. Um, unless it's something different, like samples, color samples, or something. I'm really hoping it's creative style. Oh my god, that could be just color samples, but if... Oh my god. Anyways, you can see uh, different parts. Is that build mode down there in the top... In the, sorry, bottom left. You can see the top option would be a house, and I'm guessing that's build mode. Second option is what looks to be contents of a house. Third option, I'm guessing is categories, which was an option in uh, Sims 3. And then the fourth one is a box, which we know to be family inventory or favorites, I guess it could be as well. That's pretty awesome. You can see things. You can rotate a lot easier there, too. That's pretty awesome, actually. I like that. Okay, I just want to point out that it makes it look really easy, but I'm not sure if building in The Sims 4 is actually going to be... I can guarantee it's probably not going to happen in three seconds, but I can also say that it's probably going to be a little bit more difficult. I, I really kind of like that it looks really simple, but I'm not sure if it really will be. Already making some new friends. 
fulfilling a lifetime wish. Okay, so he just confirmed that there's a build build mode trailer coming soon, I guess. So that's pretty awesome. Um, that's a really nice shot, actually. And after this, it just ends off. So I will be able to conclude the episode here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look in the background. Holy shit. It's the world. Oh, my. Wait. Okay, so we see the house right there. It's right in the front. It's right front and center. It's a big. It's, I can say it's a big house. Uh, there's some trees. It's really nice and lush atmosphere in the back. Is that a bridge? I think that's a bridge. So you see the bridge, and there's like little walkways. It looks like a pier somewhere around there. There's a little lake. There's rivers, I guess. I guess it could be a river. And you can see the end there. That's a nice. I'm seeing this little walkway over there in the red by the path by the house. But then you look far in the background, and you see all those big buildings. That's looking pretty cool. If that's the base game world, that's amazing. And look at this, the clouds. They look so cartoony. It looks so nice. And the water looks so beautiful. And all the trees look so nice. And everything in the background is blurred out. Just so, I'm assuming it'll run better. And oh my god, does it ever look awesome. So anyways, uh, yeah. That's all I have to say, I guess. There isn't really much else to say. Um, I'll see you guys on Friday. Have yourselves a great day. If you want to get updates right away, feel free to follow me on Twitter at the Benjamin Farr. Also, uh, please feel free to leave a like rating, and if you truly enjoyed it, please do subscribe. I've been SimSource, and until Friday, happy simming.